Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 5 of the series. In this session, we are going to look at how to fetch data from a database. So basically, we use two methods or two drivers to fetch data from any database. So those are OLEDB and ODBC. For ODBC connection, we had to set up a DSM. And uh, after this, we are going to look at how uh, to change the connection settings. Okay, so let's switch to ClickView Desktop. So now I'm going to create a new application. So just set it on this and then save this as a DB connection. Okay, and then save it. Let's go to Editor. So Control E is a shortcut. So if you look at this, you can find here ODBC and OLEDB under data. So under data tab, you'll find database in there. You can find OLEDB and ODBC. So let's look at OLEDB first. Okay. And then if you have a 32-bit drivers installed in it, you can force it for fetching data from a 32-bit system. Okay. In, this, in my case, I have a 64-bit machine along with the 64-bit drivers. So OLEDB connect. And then you can find here Microsoft OLEDB provider for SQL driver because I am going to connect to the SQL server and then press next. Then I have a DB. So let me pull the DB. So the DB, I mean server name. First we have to fetch a server name. Let's switch to click view and provide the server name here and I'll be using the Windows NT so here so we'll get the a databases if you from the, from the server so I'm going to use my campaign DB okay and then test the connection yes the connection is successful so press ok now it will create the connection with the settings right so now we have established a connection with the DB now we need to select a table from the DB so click on cell so whenever you click on select it will open a dialog box and prompting you to select a particular table and the fields so now we are connected we are connected to a DB and this is the database name and so I have logged in or else I connected to this DB as a DB owner. Okay, in my case, I'm going to uh, load the department table. Okay, it has three fields. So if you want to fetch all the fields, just select the asterisk symbol in the fields column. Okay, or else you can select one or two by holding the control. Okay, in my case, I'm going to have all the fields to be there. And if you're going to apply any transformations while reading data from the DB then better click on uh, preceding load okay so in that case you can see that so I, I don't want to apply any type of transformations while reading the data so that's it and right so if you this is this is a script which is going to be pasted once you press ok onto the script editor so let's switch to table in this you can find uh, information and uh, here you'll get the columns okay and you can uh, see the preview of the data as well okay if you are reading a uh, blob type data from any DB and you can uh, you, so only blob is supported with OD, ODBC only not in OLDB okay so then press OK. So I reload it. So it has fetched four lines of data from the TV. Okay, this is how we can fetch from a data from a DB. Okay. So if you go to script there, 
you can find the SQL script this is about the SQL query okay uh, along with the SQL keyword whenever I click you find the SQL keyword it will treat the following sentence until I mean it will treat the upcoming uh, sentence as an SQL query okay and uh, whenever uh, it is being executed it, uh, it will look at the connection just before the SQL query so assume that you have five DB connections in your application and five queries so every query will look at its immediate previous uh, you can say um, DB connection right so as well as whenever it finds the second DB connection it immediately discovers the previous one or else you can uh, uh, write disconnect statement as well okay so here you can write disconnect statement as well so this is how we can connect with OLEDB. so let's check at how to connect through ODDC driver for that you need to create a DSN so ODPC so I have a 64 bit machine and let's remove this right and now my intention is to add a DSN user DSN add it so I want to add an skills server DSN my I'm going to give a name for my DSN okay so you may or may not specify the description it is not necessary but it is necessary to specify the SQL, I mean uh, DB server name here in my case it's a SQL server okay and then I'll be connecting with Windows NT click on next so I'm change the default database I'm going to use the campaign next finish now test the connection test data connection is successful then press ok now you can see the uh, DSN name here press ok now let's go to databases and select ODBC then click on connect then you can find uh, uh, select the user DSN by default the system will show the only system DSNs if you select this one then you can find the user DSN as well so we have created a user DSN not a system DSN okay then test the connection so connection test succeeded then press ok so it will create the connection string then so click on select so as usual it opens the window so you may select the table which you want to have so i select a person table press ok then it will generate the script just reload it so now you can see So this is how you can connect with the DB uh, through ClickView and you can fetch data from DB through OLEDB or ODBC, right? So then there are other connection settings that are there in this. So what are those settings or so let's go to setting there. You can find three options. Uh, first one is scramble connect user credential means it is going to encode your uh, username and password means your credentials will be encoded okay those things will be decoded while passing it to uh, uh, db but whenever it is visualizing it those credentials will be in uh, encoded format then you can open by default click will open the db in read mode so if you want to open a database connection with read and write mode then you can uh, check this path so if you want to execute any of the exe file from click view 
uh, in that case you have to check this box okay for executing anything so there is this click your syntax or click your keyboard execute and specify the program whichever you want to execute along with the path then uh, it will execute if at all you have selected this option so that's all for today's session thanks for watching the video please do subscribe